Alright. So, Rise of Nations released a new update, and they added the Antarctica, which, yeah, the population of less than the, like 2000, yeah, this is a... Is it the weakest nation in the game? Well, economically so. But today I'm gonna show you what I'm, I mean, I can't really show you, but I'm gonna talk to you about how uh, how this is actually the most defendable nation in the game, technically. So firstly, this is an island. So if, if you have like a navy, like while it is probably hard to get like a big enough navy to cover this whole area, it is possible. And so uh, you, you could definitely stop a naval invasion from a certain direction. And uh, secondly, if you look at the terrain, it's semi-mountainous, and the biomes is uh, arctic. So this is a this terrain is a, gonna cause a lot of attrition by foreign troops. Like I think even if like I send my own troops across here, like, they might not even attrition, but it's gonna go slowly. And thirdly, this scene. So if, if you have stacked artillery, anti-air, stuff on this city, all the other cities could definitely capitulate. But, but, but like, there's no way they could get this one. Because you just have so many troops, like, there that... Like, like maybe not so many troops, but the distance from, from the ocean will make it so, uh, like, if they invade, by the time they get there, because of the terrain, they're gonna attrition out. And if, if there even is still troops left, they're gonna die to the art artillery and the, and the infantry. And so the second thing that they'd have to do would be air points. But if you have anti-air, then you can stop that too. So, Antarctica, depending on, like, if the player's competent or not, is either the strongest player in the game or the weakest player in the game, like, defensive-wise. Because, again, this economy isn't too hot. But look, it's, it, this is already, this troop's already attritioning. And th this is on my own territory, and this is like... It's just... yeah. So the main problem here is uh, money, but you could probably fix that with an electronic factory. And also, this this one city that's super defensible is the one with all the resources. All the other cities have no resources. And yes, this is the weakest. Uh, Weakest nation economically. <laughs> it's not even a nation in real life. I'm not sure why they added it, but it, this is fun. I'll, also, I'm doing this in a, a friend's private server because you just can't play a public server in the answer because it gets picked too quickly because it's a meme now. But yeah, th this is also annoying to like look at because it's at the bottom of the screen, so I can't go down anymore. Like, if I like have Russia, I can like look around it. But with Antarctica, it's just this. It's annoying. But yeah, th this is... I would argue the most defendable nation in the game if the player is competent. Because, I mean, look at this. Like, look at the, look at the troop I sent to... Like, it's, it's almost dead now. And like, a, like you could also attack the city with... Uh, with aircraft, but if you have anti-air, that like will defunct that. And also, this distance is gonna cause a lot of endurance, because like keep in mind, like this this distance doesn't look like much, but it's actually like like this distance. Like it's 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 super long. Like when you compare it to like other countries' distances between cities. So yep, super low populated cities, but still can be really fun and really uh, defendable. 
and plus Ireland, so like it, like if if like Argentina wanted to like take this city, if you have a boat here, they it'll be really hard for them to do that. So yeah, that's uh, that's why Antarctica is the most defendable country. <laughs> 